Rachel Detroit. I am with Chronic Movement. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to make really simple, minimal ingredient uh, almond cookies. So they'll, I'll have two versions of them, uh, very low ingredients, but one will be chocolate because you guys know I love chocolate. And then one's just going to be a cinnamon, nutty almond, um, kind of like a pecan sandy without the pecans. We're gonna use almonds and walnuts here. So, so let's get going. So what we need first is, uh, and it's all just gonna go in one bowl together. Uh, so we'll start with, I'm gonna add my chopped nuts first. So I have um, chopped walnuts. I'm gonna use chopped walnuts in this one. So I have a half cup of chopped walnuts. Uh, this is my oat flour. I use these oats and I just uh, blend them in my Vitamix. They're all ingredients from farmers we know. That's the brand. Um, they're sprouted rolled oats. They're glyphosate free, which is important to me, especially when dealing with chronic conditions. Uh, glyphosates cause havoc in our body. So that's something really to be careful with with oats. All right, so I'm gonna throw a half a cup in here. half a cup of our oat flour. We're gonna do one and a half cups of almond flour. Uh, I would also say these cookies are to be enjoyed sparingly. You know, you don't wanna eat too much roasted nuts. Because you know, there, there always is too much of a good thing. So we're gonna do one and a half cups of this almond flour. But you know, we want to eat some sweet treats while we're plant-based, oil-free, whole food plant-based. Um, so everything kind of ebbs and flows a little. All right, so I got that. I'm gonna do a third cup of maple syrup. I'm like, where did I put it? Here it is. All right, so yeah, I'm with a Chronic Movement. It's this whole movement so chronic is you know initially i was diagnosed with a chronic illness uh, called multiple sclerosis and you know i just i wasn't a fan you know i was like man chronic illness that sucks you know and then uh then i started chronic fitness and i was like well i'm i'm a bit more than just fitness so you know then i decided it's this whole movement I'm a lifestyle coach. I teach folks how to optimize their lifestyle um, and have, live the best quality of life, achieve their dreams, their goals with lifestyle changes. You know, um, two and a half years ago, I couldn't even walk for 90 seconds. You know, now when I'm working out and I have all this energy, um, I've started a business and my life has never been better and it's with these lifestyle changes. All right. so. I have the almond flour, the oat flour, and the maple syrup. I'm gonna do a half teaspoon of baking powder. Grab that. Throw that in here. Half teaspoon of baking powder. And then we're gonna do two teaspoons of cinnamon. And that's the recipe right there. Not cinnamon, um, vanilla. Vanilla extract, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'll just get a little bit extra. And that's the recipe right there. So our oven's preheating for 350. We're gonna bake them for about um, 13 minutes. All right. And then I made a chocolate version and I'll tell you guys about that. As soon as I mix this through, I'm gonna throw some cinnamon in here. That's why I said cinnamon. I'm just gonna do a few shakes. And if you like cinnamon, do it. If you don't, you can omit that. But this is simple. It's almond flour, oat flour, baking powder, uh, maple syrup, vanilla extract, and some nuts. You can leave the nuts out. You can use berries. You know, you can really do whatever you want with it. So I'll mix this up. I'll show you guys what the dough looks like. But yeah, you know, uh, I was a middle school math teacher for eight years. Oops, <laughs> that went wild. 
I was a middle school math teacher for eight years. I'm just going to use my hands. Um, and, you know, and then I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. My body, you know, kind of failed. I was under high amounts of stress. I wasn't living this optimal life. I really wasn't. I was just overstressed, overworked. I ate a very poor diet. Um, I drank a lot of alcohol, you know, and my substance intake was terrible. Um, plus a plethora of other things. So then I decided, you know, like when I had this diagnosis, I lost, you know, a lot. I lost a lot of strength, um, a lot of my abilities. I had to have my mom put my, you know, help me put my clothes on. And so being 28 years old, that's a big pill to swallow, you know. Um, but with lifestyle changes, changing the way I eat, the way I move, the way I think, what I believe, um, my social connection, I've been able to overcome, you know, all of it. And, and I'm living the best quality of life that I could ever imagine after this diagnosis. And that's what, that's what I want to do as a coach. You know, that's what I want to do as a lifestyle coach. That's what I do as a lifestyle coach. I help folks achieve and optimize their life through these changes. Um, all right, so let me show you. And I love plant-based cooking now, you know, who would have thought? Um, let me show you this dough right here. Oops. And then we're going to make a bunch of cookies and put them on this baking sheet. I'll show you guys that. You can make them whatever size you want. Um, and they, they taste really good. And I'll show you the chocolate ones too. And then we'll throw these all in the oven. I already made the chocolate ones. The only difference in the recipe for the chocolate ones, I added almonds it, it to it as a nut. And then um, I added two tablespoons of cacao powder. These cookies are pretty good. Um, I'm making them fairly large. You can make them smaller. Maybe share these with a friend here so I don't eat them all. They're very sweet. But yeah, you know, it you know, in life we're just we're just given so many challenges, you know, all this adversity, and it's like uh, you know, we need this resilience. You know, it's how are we gonna come up with this resilience and, and all of us have the power within us to overcome challenges, to be resilient, to, to face our life. And sometimes we just need a little help. We need, you know, someone to guide us to our power, really. And that's what I do. I guide folks to their power. I let them see how strong they are. And I know that people can do it because I did it. All right, so I'm making, like I said, I'm making pretty big cookies here. You can make them any size you want. Actually, I would probably recommend make them a little bit smaller. Mine are real big. I'm like, if you want a cookie, get a cookie. So I'm probably gonna get five cookies out of this batter. That's a little bit. That's a little bit too big if you ask me. You should probably get six to eight cookies out of this. I'm gonna make a couple of them a little bit smaller. That's a little bit, that's a hefty cookie right there. But yeah, they taste really good, they're sweet, they're definitely a pleaser, you know, if you wanna bring a dessert somewhere, the holidays are coming up. Yeah. So I'm a certified uh, holistic plant-based nutritionist, personal trainer, um, I specialize in lifestyle medicine coaching, you know, where I help folks optimize their, their sleep hygiene, how they eat, how they move, how they think, and that mindset, you know, that's something that's huge, that's huge. And you don't have to have a chronic condition or a chronic illness to, to, to have me as a coach, you know? Um, but that mindset is huge, what we think, what we believe. You know, the mind is everything. What you, what you think, you become. So if we think that we're these powerful people who can overcome challenges, um, then we are. And why not? He's, you know, I, I showed up in the neurologist's office and they told me I had a heavy disease burden on my MRI. Well, that, you know, that's not something you want to hear at 28 years old. But, you know, I, I, I decided I wasn't going to let disease 
um, take over me and I'm, I'm gonna live in the present moment and I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna be available to, to what the, the world, and I'm gonna be patient with my healing. All right, let me show you these cookies and then I'm gonna throw the um, chocolate ones. You can definitely make more than five cookies. Uh, I'm gonna make the chocolate ones a bit smaller. Where did I put my pan for those chocolate ones over here? So these are the the first ones, the almond uh, walnut ones. So they're like pecan sandies. All right, and then let's get these chocolate bad boys going over here. And like I said, the only difference in these ones, recipe is the same. I put two tablespoons of cacao, and then I put... Um, chopped walnuts and almonds. I am a chocolate lover. Yeah, I would say probably do like, um, you know, I'm gonna make little round balls for this one. And then I'm just gonna press them for that cookie so I'm not as extremely big with these ones. So I'm gonna get little sized balls and then I'm just gonna press them down. But yeah, that's the thing, you know, what you think you become, you can achieve anything. You can achieve your dreams. Whatever you want, you can do it. Why not? You know, we just got to go for it. We got to believe in ourselves. And, and uh, I, you know, I had a coach who believed in me. And he would always tell me, starting now. You know, I'd be like, well, this, this, that. And he'd say, no, no, starting now. And that's what I think, too. You know, everything is starting now. We can't go back. We're not going to change anything. You know, we can't undo our lives. We can't undo stuff. Um, all we can do is, you know, get a proud chest and say starting now and keep moving forward. All right. These cookies. Yum, yum, yum. And then I'm also working on, these will get, I'll get six out of these. So these ones are still pretty big too. Um, I'm working on um, creating a recipe where I use butternut squash uh, in my cookies. So I want to make like a butternut squash cookie. So we'll see, we'll see what that turns into. And it's a thing, you just try everything. Yeah, this ball idea is a lot better than trying to make the other cookies, they stick together better. Um, so definitely do that version. So like make little balls and then just press them down. So I'll show you these chocolate ones and I'll put them in the oven for about 13 minutes. And then I'll show you what we got. So we got the chocolate ones and we got the maple ones. My oven's at 350 degrees. I'll put them in for 13 minutes and then uh, I'll show you guys what I got. We got our cookies here. I'm just eating one of the, the plain ones. I like these ones better than the chocolate. They're quick, they're easy, minimal ingredients. Let me show you what we got here. So we got these ones, it's the back. You know, nothing special, nothing crazy, real simple to make. And then these are the ones, the chocolate ones with almonds and walnuts inside. So you got two options here. I personally think these ones are tastier. Um, but give it a shot, just a quick, simple recipe. And again, we don't wanna eat too many nuts, everything in moderation. So just a little snack here and there. All right, take good care. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, Chronic Movement. Check out my Facebook page, Chronic Movement. My name is Rachel Detroit. There's an Instagram at chronic.movement. Uh, send me an email if you want to talk to me, chronicmovementdet at gmail.com. If you're interested in coaching, send me a message and I'll see you guys soon. All right, take good care.